What's happening, everybody? Mark Mude checking in on behalf of Billy Go Gruff and the Rock Billy Red Devils. This is my new segment called Quick Licks, and I'm going to quickly show you that lick I just played. <laughs> blues lick that takes place in the key of E. It's pretty simple. There's two parts. The first part takes place on the first and second string. That's the high E and the B. Okay. <clears throat> Find your fifth fret on the second string. I use my middle finger. Find that note. That's fifth fret. Third fret. Second fret. First fret, five, three, two, one. Now, you're gonna hit the high E string, that's your first string, you're gonna hit it open between each of those notes, like this. Now when I pick that, I pick the first note, down, the open string, up, down, 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 up. Now if you need to rewind that and watch that part again, you should ought to do it. Because we're going to move on to the second part here. The second part takes place on the second and third string. That's B and G. This time, the B string is open the whole time, okay? So, go to your third string. Use your ring finger or your middle finger, whatever you're comfortable with. You're going to go to the fourth fret, third fret, second fret, open, hammer onto the first fret. Ah, you weren't expecting that, were you? Four, three, two open hammer onto the first four three two open hammer onto the first just like in the other section you're going to hit the open string between each of those notes the second string is open Same, same picking, down, up, down, up. Start with a down, up, down, up, down, up, up. And then you take that middle finger, drop that on the second fret of the fourth string. That's your E. That's the tonic note of that riff, okay? So you're going to go like that. Okay, after the very last open note on that on the second string, you drop down and hit the second fret on the fourth string. Okay, now here's where it fits into the blues progression. 12 bar blues. I have it pre-recorded. I'm gonna play along with it. The first four bars take place in the key of E. Then it goes to A for two bars. Back to E for two bars. When it starts the B, here's the B. back to E. The ninth bar is when it goes to B, and that's when you start the riff. <coughs> Pardon me, I've been sick, I have a cough. Okay, it goes back to E, here comes the B, and you start the riff. Hear how that works? I'll do it one more time to demonstrate. Then I'll show you another place you can put it. Coast to A for two bars. A bar is a measure. For those of you who don't know, bars and measures are the same thing. There's 12 measures. Here comes the B. I almost talked all the way through it. Now I'm going to start it on the 11th bar, which is after the B, when it goes back to E for bars 11 and 12. Okay, here comes the B, but we're going to skip it. When it goes to E, we start the riff. Hear 
sure how that worked. Goes to A for two bars. Back to E for two bars. Here comes the B, but we skip it. When it goes to E, we start. And there you go. Personally, I like doing it on the B because ordinarily you would not expect to begin a sequence at that point of the turnaround. And it gives you room to add on to the end of it before the 12 bars repeat themselves. For the advanced guitarist, you can, you can try and find parts that'll work, even, even the beginner guitarists. Find notes that will fill in between there. But that's the riff. That's how I use it. I used it on one of my songs. I have a video up for it called, uh, I Just Wanna. Go listen to that video. See if you can find where I played that riff at. It's in there. If you listen, you can find it. Okay, now here's some alternatives to the picking on that. You can palm mute the strings and make it sound like chicken picking. All right, and I'll demonstrate that. You can do it like we did it in the video. No open the strings. You can strum both strings at the same time, but you still have to do the double stroke, and I'll demonstrate that. Here it is. So there you go. Experiment with different ways to use it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get a lot from it. And uh, make sure you like the video. Share the video, leave comments, ask questions. I love the interaction. Subscribe to my channel, okay? Uh, ring the bell to get notifications. Tell your friends about the page because I'm gonna do a lot of these quick licks. I'm gonna try and do one every day. So maybe you and your friends could work on them together, come up with some of your own ideas. But uh, more than that, thanks for watching the videos. This is Mark Mude on behalf of Billy Go Gruff and the Rockabilly Red Devils checking out. And we'll see you in the next video.